Hello folks, Bill here at Bill Reddick Outdoors. Today's Thursday, December 23rd, 2021. December 23rd. There's something about December 23rd. Oh yeah, it's my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, mama. I love you bunches. You know, thinking about my mother's birthday being December 23rd reminds me when I was a kid, we always got excited when mama's birthday came around because that meant it wasn't but just a couple of days till Christmas. So I guess we better get in the Christmas mood. We'll take off this hat and put on this hat. And we got all kind of works to do. We got to get out the decorations. Got the wreath and the garland and the poinsettias at the front door. And we got the wreath on the house. And Nana decorates her carport. Of course, we have a wreath on that door, a poinsettia here. There's a Christmas candle back there mounted on the cross. We have a holly bush, some more poinsettias and a good piece of advice. Wise men still seek him. Not much snow in South Mississippi, but we got a snowman in our yard. And a wreath on the back door. Let's see what's inside. Somebody said there was proof that I might be a redneck. We got a Christmas tree. We got a manger scene on the wall. We've even got a Christmas pillow on the couch. And various decorations that Nana has spread around. We've got a banner and we've got a jaw sign and we have all the stockings hanging over the fireplace. And we have these two creatures from the outdoors. Proof Papa might be a redneck. And don't forget, baby Jesus. And don't forget, baby Jesus. I did forget one outside. We have the American flag and in front of it is our joy sign with the star of Bethlehem. And don't forget, little baby Jesus. All right, folks, we're almost ready. We've got all the decorations outside ready. We got the lights hooked up where they come on when it gets dark and they go off when it gets daytime. The only thing I need to do is when my family gets here for Christmas, I would like to share a story with them. And I hadn't told this story in a long time. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to practice on y'all. And this story is about two brothers. And we're gonna let these two pieces of paper represent these brothers. And as they went through their lives, you could look at them and, and the things that they did, and there would be some changes in their lives. And as time went on, and, and different things that happened, that would affect them, but they still looked pretty much the same. And as a little more time would go on, this brother, he, he got big enough that he got him a car, and you'd see him driving around in a car. Well, this brother over here, he got him a car too, and you would see them both driving around in their cars, and they still looked pretty much like they had the same life. And during the course of their life, as, as uh, opportunities do, would present themselves, they would hear the story of Christmas and baby Jesus. And their lives still looked pretty much alike. But you know, this brother here, 
He listened about the rest of Jesus' life and how he lived a perfect life, a sinless life, and he went to the cross at Calvary. And he died and shed his blood to pay for the sins of the world. Oh, I got a soul finger, I forgot. But I did get some scissors. And you know, as, as time goes on, things that happen to you make you look a little bit different. And this brother here, he also heard the story of baby Jesus and how he lived his life, a sinless life. And he went to the cross on Calvary. And he paid for the sins of the world. But you know, people receive things different. This brother over here, he really paid attention about the cross and what Jesus did. And that how if we would put our faith and trust in him and ask him to be the savior of our lives, that when this life was over, we could go live with the Father in heaven forever and ever. And he said, I bank on that. Everything, I put my faith in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. And I don't care about all these other things I hear in the world about how we can get to heaven. I'm going to chuck them away and I'm going to put all my faith in my Savior Jesus Christ. Well, this other brother, he had heard the same story, but he didn't really make a commitment for Jesus and the cross. He said, you know, that's something I can do later. So he just kind of put that out of his mind. Well, as time goes on, both brothers pass away. Which, that's a little side note, we don't know how long we have on this earth. I could pass away before I finish this video. I might live another 20 years. I might live another 40 years. We just don't know. So we can't put things like this off. But this brother said, ah, I can do that later. I've got plenty of time. And after he had passed away and he got to heaven and was trying to figure out how to get in, and he said, you know, I, I dropped a piece. He said, I have heard the story of baby Jesus and how Jesus lived his life a perfect life and was hung on the cross to pay for the sins of the world and you know I just figured that I had plenty of time to ask Jesus to be my savior but I never did and I decided I would try to do some good things during my life to help me get to heaven and so I would give money to the church every now and then. I would help people that needed help. I would do good for those around me. I didn't talk ugly and I would be nice to people. And so you see, I've got a lot, a lot of good deeds. And so that should get me in heaven. But when they looked at his life, they said, this is what all your good deeds amount to because you didn't Ask Jesus to be Lord and Savior of your life and put your faith in Jesus and the cross. Well, this other brother, he faced the same situation. How would he get into heaven? And he said, I put all my faith and trust in Jesus Christ and the cross and what he did there to get me into heaven. And so when they looked at his life, they looked at Jesus and what he did on the cross. You see, we have this piece of red paper and it represents the blood of Jesus. And when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, he washes you with his blood and covers all your sins 
And so there's no hell for you. Don't forget Savior Jesus and what he did on the cross. And don't forget baby Jesus. But more importantly, don't forget Savior Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. Always remember, people, whether at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. Merry Christmas. You can